Andy, did you know that Alexandra from Poland is practicing and Katarina from Croatia is here and CJ from West Virginia is ready to practice and Jin Sin from New Mexico is ready to practice. And do you know why they're here? Because they like to have fun. And this class is yoga for fun. You want to welcome everybody? Uh, yeah, hi, I'm Indy Fightmaster. And I'm Duke Fightmaster. And uh, we're here today to practice and focus on fun. Yoga for fun. This is Fight Master Yoga, where you don't have to be perfect, and it's not about the pose. And um, thank you all for um, coming. Put in the comments where you're practicing from, because it's always fun to see where everyone is. You ready to get started, Indy? Yeah, let's get started. All right, let's start on our backs. Coming down, we'll start in a Shavasana. Just relax. Actually, let's let's bend our knees and put our feet so they're touching Baddha Konasana. And take a deep breath in and a big audible exhale. One more time, deep breath in, audible exhale. Now seal your lips, deep breath in, exhale through your mouth at the same intensity. You can hear that ocean sound, that little restriction in the back of your throat. It's called Ujjaya breath. And if you're moving, you're doing yoga. And guess what? If you're breathing, you're moving. Therefore, if you can breathe, you can do yoga. Inhales and exhales. All right, let's straighten our legs so we're all straightened out. And when we inhale, we're going to lengthen our arms up to the sky behind our head. Exhale the arms back in. Once again, inhale, lengthen, stretch everything, exhale, back in, bend your knees, feet on the mat. As you inhale this time, arms come up and waist comes up for a little bridge. Exhale, everything comes down one vertebrae at a time. Inhale, everything up and lengthen, exhale, everything down and this time come up just a little bit come back down inhale lift up exhale tighten everything and come up just a little bit inhale extend lift come back up grab your knees give yourself a big hug grab the soles of your feet do a happy baby Now let's let your left foot go and lengthen your left leg. We still have our right foot. Remember what we call this pose, Indy? Ninja baby or something? Ninja baby. Ninja baby is kind of a fun pose, don't you think? Yeah. Now I want you to hold in your right knee. Bring it over to the left side. Look over to your right for a little twist. Bring the knee back, come back to happy baby. Let go of the right leg, extend it. Remember we have a ninja baby on the left side. Focusing on our Ujjayi breath. What's going on inside our body. I want you to hold on to that left knee, tuck it in. Bring it over to the right side. Look over your left, a little twist.
Hug both knees and start to rock back and forth until you come all the way back up onto hands and knees. And slowly into a down dog. You begin to bicycle your legs. On the next inhale, I want you to come to a plank. Come a little over your fingertips almost. If you're going to ever do a handstand, you're going to need to learn how to come a little over your fingertips. Just remember that. Come back to down dog, exhale, inhale back to plank, exhale to down dog, inhale to plank. Now come to your forearms for a dolphin plank and lower down all the way to your belly, but keep your arms there for a sphinx pose. Let's push up, come into child's pose. Walk over to the left side with your hands, feeling that stretch on the right side of your body. Walk your hands over to the right side, feeling the stretch on the left side of your body. Bring your hands back to the middle of the mat and lift your right hand to the sky. And then I want you to thread it under your left hand. Come down, straighten your left leg and bring your left hand behind your back for a little twist. How you doing, Indy? Pretty good. Good. It's kind of humid where we are, so we were sweating before the class even started. All right, put your left hand back on the mat. Slowly bring your right hand back up to the sky and then back to the mat, back to tabletop position. Now we're going to inhale our left hand to the sky and thread it under our right. Bring our left cheek to the mat, straightening our right leg and bringing our right hand over to the left side of our waist. Congratulations for getting on your mat today on this beautiful Sunday. And it's fun knowing that there's people around the world practicing with us live. We've got our little crew here today. We're here to carry on Leslie Fightmaster's legacy. And we know she's looking down on us and she's smiling. Bring your right hand to the mat. Gently lift your left hand back up to the sky. Bring both hands to the mat and come back to a downward dog. I like to bend my knees and then slowly try to straighten them, trying to bring your heels towards the mat. All right, bend your knees, look forward, step in between your hands, inhale for a flat back, exhale, fold forward. Let's try that once again. Inhale, flat back, like a diver looking over the diving board. Exhale, fold forward, drop your head, those two, should feel different. Now ground down through your feet, reach your hands to the sky. Inhale, exhale, come over to your right with any type of side bend you like. I like to grab onto my left wrist. Let's stay here for a couple breaths. And a nice side stretch in. Inhale the hands to the sky. Now do a side, Bend to your left, 
anyone that you prefer. I like to grab onto my right wrist. Stay here for a couple of breaths. Inhale your hands to the sky. I want you to clasp your hands together and release your index fingers. Bring them over your head. This is a move that they do in, in Bikram. And slowly bend backwards as much as you comfortably can. And we're just gonna stay here for a few breaths. Inhale, hands to the sky. Exhale, hands to heart center. Samastitihi. Let's do a few sun salutations to get warmed up. Inhale, hands to the sun. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, place your hands to the mat. Step back, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Stay here for a couple of breaths. I want you to step your right foot forward, drop your back heel, come into warrior one. I'm just staying here for a couple of breaths. Bring the hands back down to the mat, step back, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Step the left foot forward, drop the back heel, bring the arms up. Warrior one. Hands back down, step back, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Coming back to our ujjayi breath. Bend your knees, look between your hands, step forward. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, hands to the sky. Exhale, right side bend. Inhale, hands to the sky. Exhale, left side bend. Inhale, hands to the sky. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, put your hands to the mat. Step back, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Now we're gonna try to have a little bit of fun. We'll see how this works out. Step the right foot forward, drop your back heel. Inhale, the hands up, warrior one. Now what we're gonna do, this is kind of tricky, but it's kind of fun, is we're gonna bring our hands to the mat and set down our left knee under our right foot for a side twist. Isn't that kind of fun? Yeah. <laughs> We're just gonna stay in this side twist for a second. Then come back around, step back, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog, exhale, down dog. Let's try it on the other side. Step forward with your left foot, drop your back right heel, come up to warrior one. Then we're gonna bring our feet to the mat and bring our Left knee under our left foot for a little side twist. We're on our butt. And we're just gonna stay here for a couple seconds. Come back to the front of the mat. Step the feet back, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Bend the knees, step in between your hands. Keep your knees bent into chair pose. Bring your arms up. Some people like to do bar stool pose, 
But see if you can challenge yourself. Come down a little bit deeper into chair pose. I catch myself doing bar stool pose sometimes when I want to take it easy. Take a big inhale. Exhale your right hand back, left hand forward for a side twist. Bring your right hand back up again. Inhale. Exhale your left hand back for a side twist. Right hand forward. Both hands up, chair pose. Fold forward. Inhale, flat back. Step back, chaturanga. Exhale. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Inhale your right leg up and bring it to your right elbow. Inhale your right leg up again. Bring it to the front of the mat. Stay on the ball of your left foot and come up into a crescent. Bring your hands into a prayer position and do a prayer twist over to the right. Now come up to a star, like you're making a star. And then come into a, either a horse dance or a goddess squat. Bring your hands out to the side. You go back and forth just a little bit. Try going on the tippy toes of your right foot, tippy toes of your left foot. Right foot, left foot, stay on the tippy toes of both feet, hold it, come up to a star position, bring your feet towards each other a little bit and fold forward. And then let's bend the right knee down as far as you can, straightening the left knee for a skandasana. And come back up, fold forward again. Inhale halfway up, bend the left knee, straighten the right leg. First Gandasana the other way. And come back to a folding down the center. Just hang here for a second. Let everything go. Bring your right hand to the center of the mat. Inhale your left hand to the sky. Bring your left hand to the center of the mat. Inhale your right hand to the sky. Bring both hands to the center of the mat. Half, come halfway up. Inhale. Bring your hands to your hips. Step all the way up. Jump to the center because jumping's fun. And let's walk to the top of our mat. We'll do one more warm up flow and then I'm going to hand it over to Indy. You ready after this? Yeah. Okay. Are you getting warm? I'm sweating. All right. Indy's sweating. Inhale, hands to the sun. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, step back, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog, exhale, down dog. Inhale your right leg up, open up the hip. Let it come all the way down to the ground. Flip your dog for wild thing. Bring your hand back to the mat. Inhale to three-legged dog. Bring the foot through, drop your back heel, and come to warrior two. Inhale to reverse warrior. Reach forward, come to a side angle pose. Bring both hands to the mat, lift your left leg, 
to the sky. Keep your right hand on the floor. Lift your left hand to the sky for half moon. Bring both hands to the floor. Bend your right knee. Bring your left knee under your right knee for a Shiva squat. See if you can bring your hands to a prayer. Then reach back with your right hand. Grab your left heel and come to a twisted dancer. Ah, some days are, the balance are better than others. Let it go. Lift your left knee up. Grab the foot with your right hand. Stick the leg out to the right, left hand, and back down. All right, that's a little above our pay grade, but what are you going to do? Let's try it from the other side. Inhale, hands to the sky. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, hands to the ground, chaturanga. Inhale. Up dog, exhale, down dog. To me, sometimes it's fun to push yourself. You know, do something that you're uncomfortable with that you might not be great at. If you fall, have fun with it. We don't grow in life unless we push ourselves. Inhale your left leg up. Open up the hip, let it come all the way down to the ground. Flip your dog for a wild thing. Bring the left hand back to the mat to three-legged dog. Inhale your leg up, bring it in between your hands. Come up to a crescent pose. Drop your right heel, come to warrior two. Come to reverse warrior. Lean forward, come to a side angle pose. Bring both hands to the mat. Lift your right hand or your right leg to the sky. Keep your left hand on the floor and bring your right arm to the sky for a half moon. Bring both hands to the floor. Bend your right knee under your left knee. Bring your hands to prayer if you can for a Shiva squat. Reach back with your left hand. Grab your right ankle and come into a twisted dancer. Ah, you might fall. It's okay. You don't have to be perfect here. One day it's going to get better. Let go. Lift your right leg up. Grab your right foot with your left hand and twist your right hand back. Straighten in your right leg if you can. Back to the mat. Oh man, I'm sweating. What about you, Andy? Yeah, I'm sweating. All right, we're pushing ourselves today. We're having fun. Andy's up. All right, so let's start off with eagle pose. So we're gonna bring our right arm under our left arm. Bring our right leg over the left. And we're gonna inhale, arching back. And we're gonna exhale. I'm really off balance today. Just hinging forward. And we're gonna slowly extend the back, our right foot backwards. Balancing here. And we're gonna inhale back to center, sweeping the arms up. And we're gonna exhale, bring the uh, left arm under the right and our left leg over the right leg, inhaling, arching the back, giving us energy, exhaling, hinging forward, 
release the wrap over the left leg and bring your left leg back. Balancing here. Inhaling back to center, sweep the arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. And we're gonna exhale, making our way to plank, chaturanga. Inhale, top or dog. Exhaling, making our way into downward dog. And we're gonna inhale the left leg to the sky. Exhaling it, stepping it to the front of the mat, flattening the back foot for warrior two. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, back to center. And we're gonna extend the front foot, hinging from the hips and making our way into triangle pose. Looking up, if that's okay in your neck. And we're gonna inhale back to center, cartwheel the arms to plank, chaturanga, inhale upward dog, exhale to downward dog. And now we're gonna lift the left leg up into the sky and we're gonna step it up to the front of the mat into warrior two. Did we just do the left leg? <laughs> you know, I, th I think we might have. Let's just go with it. You know, we're just having fun. Yeah. And we're gonna inhale back, exhaling to center. I guess we'll do this leg twice and the other leg twice. Yeah, why not? Yeah, we're just having fun, you know, bend the rules a little bit. Extend the front foot, reaching forward triangle pose on the left side again inhaling back to center cartwheeling the arms to plank chaturanga inhale to upward dog exhaling to downward dog and we're going to inhale the right leg this time into the air exhaling it stepping it to the front of the mat flattening the back foot inhaling and we're going to exhale and just reach back. Inhaling to center. And we're going to extend the front foot, hinging from the hips as far forward as we can before we reach down into triangle pose. And we're going to inhale back to center, cartwheeling the arms to plank, chaturanga. Inhaling. It's upward dog. Exhale, make your way back to downward dog. And on your next inhale, we're gonna bring the right leg up again. Exhaling it to the front of the mat, flattening the back foot, making your way into warrior two. And we're gonna inhale, reaching back, stretching here. And on your next inhale, we're gonna make our way back to center. Extending the front foot, hinging forward again, reaching down. You can either grab your ankle or bring your hand all the way onto the mat, wherever it lands. And we're going to inhale back to center. Exhaling, windmilling the arms to plank, chaturanga. Inhaling to upward dog. Exhale, back to downward dog. Staying here for a couple breaths. And we're gonna make our way onto our forearms into dolphin pose. Just staying here. I feel like this pose gives me a deeper stretch in my shoulders. And we're gonna inhale bringing our hips level toward the mat, making our way into dolphin plank. Stay here for a couple breaths. Feel free to go on your knees. And we're gonna inhale back to dolphin plank. And we're gonna make our way back onto our palms into regular 
downward dog. And we're gonna make our way onto our knees and slowly make our way into child's pose, recovering here. Keep your arms out in front of you or keep them by your sides. And we're gonna inhale back to all fours. Let's do some uh, back to all fours as in staying on your knees. Thank you. <laughs> you. That's how good your yoga class is, Andy. I'm just not. And we're just gonna wind down by doing some cat cows. Inhaling for a cow, exhaling into a cat. Inhale to cow, exhale for cat, inhale, bring the chest forward, exhale, compress, we're going to inhale back to neutral spine, and we're going to bring our palms off the mat, leaning back, you can sit on your heels here, or you can even lean back, getting a nice stretch in your thighs. You can sink down as much as you'd like. For a guy like me, I'm tight, so I just got to stay here. My butt doesn't even hit my um, heels yet. But this right here, I can feel a stretch. And I remember uh, Leslie always saying, as long as you feel a stretch. Yeah, and you can have a yoga block there if you have one with you. And we're going to inhale back up and we're going to do, uh, we're going to keep our hands behind us and uh, we're going to lift up off the hips into a somewhat of a camel variation, getting an arch in the back and exhale slowly lower back onto your heels, and uh, this time we're gonna lift the uh, glutes off the heels, and we're gonna inhale, sweeping the arms up, and we're gonna exhale, reaching back. You can keep your hands on your lower back, or have them on your heels, or you can just reach back and have your palms land wherever they do on the mat. We're gonna inhale, both shoulders coming up at the same time. Hands back onto the mat. Make your way into child's pose. Getting a nice stretch here in the lower back and the glutes. We're gonna inhale back to all fours making our way into plank to slowly lower all the way onto the mat. And on your next inhale, we're gonna peel the chest off the mat into locust pose. And we're gonna exhale slowly lowering, rest your forearms on the mat. Rest your head. And you can keep your arms by your hips or option to bring your arms out in front of you. And on your next inhale, we're going to peel the chest off the mat once again, lifting with our upper body and also elevating our legs off the mat. Engaging your shoulders here. And we're going to exhale, slowly lower. Recovering here. And 
I'm gonna bring our hands by our ribs. And on your next inhale, we're gonna make our way into Cobra Pose or Downward Dog, your choice. And we're gonna exhale back into Downward Dog. And on your next inhale, we're gonna step or float to seated. We're gonna bring our palms or our soles of feet onto the mat, slowly lowering to the mat. And we're gonna bring our knees in toward our chest, hugging ourselves here, rocking side to side if you'd like. And we're gonna bring our legs extended into the air, lifting your hips off the mat into, what's this called again? Shoulder stand, do not look to the side. Yeah, do not look left or right while in this stance. You can injure your neck. If this isn't in your practice, don't do it. And we're gonna exhale, slowly lowering. So you can extend your legs out in front of you, slowly lower, engaging your core. We're gonna bring our soles of feet back onto the mat. And on your next inhale, we're gonna make our way into bridge pose. And we're gonna exhale, slowly lowering, soles of feet together, knees apart. We're gonna inhale, soles of feet back onto the mat and we're gonna slowly elevate the hips. Feel free to interlock your fingers under you, bring your shoulders under you. Try to keep your chin away from your chest in this bridge pose. And exhale, slowly lower. We're gonna hug the knees back into our chest. And on your next exhale, slowly lower, bring your soles of feet back onto the mat. We're gonna bring our right leg over the left, shifting your hips off to one side, bringing your legs off to the left, looking over the right shoulder. Inhale back to center. And we're gonna bring the right leg over the left. Left leg over right. Oh, yep, my bad. We're just having fun. Everyone knows what you mean. Yeah. We're gonna bring the legs off to the right side, looking over the left shoulder. And on your next inhale, bring your legs back to center. We're gonna slowly extend our legs out in front of us. Bring the sitting bones toward the backs of your knees. Palms up, feet flop open. Quiet mind, quiet body, Shavasana. It's closed for our quote today from the poet Mary Oliver. To live in this world you must be able to do three things. To love what is mortal, to hold it against your bones knowing your own life depends on it, and when the time comes to let it go, to let it go. Slowly start to make small movements in your body, wiggling your fingers and your toes. 
reach your hands straight up to the air and bring them behind your head and reach your fingers in one direction, your toes in the other. Even open your mouth wide like a big yawn. Ah, stretching everything. Bend both your knees, put your feet flat on the mat, lift your pelvis up, bring it over to the left and slowly roll over to your right side. Your right cheek on your right bicep and take a moment to honor yourself for this practice because if you don't show up for yourself, you won't be able to show up for anyone else. So you did such a good job showing up on your mat and we congratulate you for that. Slowly make your way up to seated. Bring your hands to heart center. Hands to the forehead for clear and loving thoughts. Hands to your heart for clear and loving intentions. Hands to the mouth for clear and loving communication, sending out this positive energy to all beings everywhere, especially you, Leslie. Namaste. Namaste. Indy and I had fun. And we hope you had fun too. How are you feeling? Put it down there in the comments. Andy, read us a few comments, see what people are saying or where they're visiting from. Um, Martha says hello from Canada. Hey, Martha. Uh, um, Ola Ahanu says hello from Germany. Uh, Melissa Cade says hi, guys. Hi, Melissa. What's up, Melissa? Um, how do you think? I should pronounce that. Rohit? Uh, Rohit? From India? From India. Hi. Um, By the way, um, we've been working on putting together Leslie's teacher training. We filmed Leslie before she died doing a two-week intensive teacher training. We filmed it all, and we're turning it into an online course. So Indy and I are looking forward to taking her teacher training. It's going to be a 200-hour teacher training. And hopefully it's getting approved by Yoga Alliance right now. And hopefully it'll be approved soon. We're looking forward to taking that. So we'll be able to learn even more. And that'll be available to you you guys too if it's something you're interested in. What else you got, Indy? Um, Rosanna, hola de Argentina. Um, Argentina in the house. Je, uh, Jen Sine says namaste. Thank you, guys. Um, CJ, greetings from West Virginia. All right. All right. Well, make sure you hit the subscribe and the like button. And we're here every, every Sunday at 11 a.m. Also, Indy and I were just talking this morning that we want to start going to like some of the cool spots to film and just have Leslie's voiceover in the background. And um, it'd be a fun tribute to Leslie, we thought. So look forward to some of those. Have a great day. We'll see you next week. Namaste. Bye. Thank you.